You started at 3.20 a.m. You started with the cord wrapped around your neck, pushed by 18 hours of labor into a world that would require of you many more. They flushed you with saline to untie the cord. It worked then. You did not come out easy. When you were little, you swung your arms around like sideways helicopters, made forts out of laundry, put your mother's underwear on your head. Your father danced with you and your sister in the living room to Celtic music, probably past your bedtime. It's 3 a.m and you're sitting in your unrecognizable living room. They've all blurred together. You're waiting for your dad to get home from the graveyard shift. You go to bed about 20 minutes later when you realize you probably don't want to see him anyway. Before you were born, your father was a, an alcoholic. After his DUI, he straightened out, became a respectable gentleman. When you were 11, sitting in his dark bedroom, his pacing flat feet, dragging the carpet like claws. You were awaiting a decision that wrapped once around your neck and didn't seem to want to come off no matter how many times you were flushed with saline when you were 12. You rubbed your flat feet that were tired of walking the same broken paths plagued by pacing feet in hospital hallways on living room carpets, plagued by the flat feet you inherited but never wanted, plagued by a world of troubles you inherited and swallowed whole, plagued by the bitter shit the world shoved down your throat but didn't give you time to chew. When you were 12, you wondered where that respectable man had gone and if you had the strength to ever get him back. When you turned 13, the world taught you how to forgive and forget. The world shoved Stockholm Syndrome in your face and called it love, told you abuse was what made you strong, but on your 13th birthday, you sat in your bed at 12 a.m., the quilt pulled over your head and tried to wrestle the umbilical cord away from your neck, tried to swallow the world in one go. It did not go down easy, but you tried to love it anyway. No, the world does not go down easy. The ghost of your father loves to step across your carpet at night. You sit up, the fan whirring like a heart rate monitor looming over your head. Your eyes stretched like your jeans that never fit right. You don't sleep so much as wait. You're waiting for an apology for tough love, as if the world had lips that would come anywhere near you. The world loves to hit you hard as you're waiting, like the realization that you're going to become. The world tries to tell you not to be scared. It tells you, look at what I've become. There's nothing to be afraid of. You are so, so afraid. You turned 16 today. You jolted awake and sat up in bed, pulse and normal throb, eyes like islands undiscovered, shifting from the carpet to the fan to your stretched jeans. You choke a little. You swallow as if it's some small feet. No one says sorry to you. You can't say sorry either, but you wish you could. The cord is too tight to speak still, but I'm getting there. The world hits like the realization that I'm going to become. I take the hit, thank the world, and put on my stupid jeans.